Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team, bringing you the word on the street, talking Indiana real estate. Today we're going to tour the San Moran Equipment Company building. This is a 23,308 square foot light industrial property. It is zoned I-1 and it is situated in the Stony Creek Business Park. That is in Hamilton County, the wealthiest and fastest growing county in the state of Indiana. This property is located in the town of Noblesville and just one mile north of Fishers. We'll take you on a tour of those two towns later in the video, show you uh, the top ranked school systems, all the health care, shopping and restaurants, and all the recreational opportunities that are great for recruiting uh, professional staff or relocating professional staff. But first, hey, I gotta show you this property. This is set on 1.55 acres. It has asphalt paved parking with 22 striped spaces, including ADA. Good truck access and turnaround space here. There are two drive-in doors and one loading dock. We're a mile to State Road 37 and 32, and then another three miles to the interstate at I-69. Those uh, 37 runs right into 69, they run together. From there, you can get to 465, which is the Beltway, and that'll take you anywhere in the metro area. Keep in mind that Indianapolis is the uh, state capital, and it's just 17 miles down the road to downtown. And uh, from 465, you can get to I-70, I-74, I-69, I. 65 as well as state roads 37 32 and 31. they don't call indianapolis the crossroads of america for nothing but hey let's go inside and see what we've got enter the front here into the office area you enter into a vestibule area which would be good for a um, small waiting area or you could use it for uh, dropping off um, samples or uh, the delivery of small packages pickup type thing Got the main uh, admin office here uh, with uh, reception and administrative. Next to it is a copy room. Then there are two offices. They're in the process of uh, getting ready to move out here. So everything is a little bit disheveled, shall we say. I think these are 12 by 16. Got a second one here. And then across the hall, conference room of about the same size. And we have a storage room that, ah, it could be another office if you wanted it to be, a small one. There's one set of restrooms here, and then we're out into the plant. Total uh, square footage on the office space is gonna be 2,500. Uh, that includes out here where we have a second uh, set of restrooms, got a break room, Small kitchen set up. Got a utility room or storage room, tool crib, whatever you wanted to use it for. Does have a sink in here. And then next door to it, we have two shop offices. or you could use them for another purpose. So uh, 2,500 square feet total in uh, the office space area. Up above it is a mezzanine that you can use for storage. And above that, you've got a low slope roof with a uh, metal standing seam. Okay, this is the original building. It was built in uh, 1993. It's a total of 15,000 square feet. Uh, that includes a 2,500 square foot office, so you're looking at 12,500 on the plant itself. The drive-in door here is uh, 13 by 12.6. They have an equipment sale uh, scheduled for June 18th, which will clear out all of this, so uh, it's a little oh, chaotic at the moment, shall we say. The uh, ceiling height on the edges, 12.6. 
and in the middle you have a clear span of 15 feet. You've got uh, hanging uh, HVAC units here and here that are for the office area. And then on the outside wall, you've got a gas-fired furnace that sits on the outside of the building along with central air. There's another model. You can see the distribution system leading from it uh, way down at the end there. Uh, these come out and uh, provide overhead distribution of heating and cooling. There's uh, not a ton of plumbing uh, in this building. You've got a set of restrooms in the office space, another one over here. You've got uh, this uh, first aid sink and water cooler here. And then uh, down in the addition, there's another sink and some more water. Uh, the water heater is in the office space. Um, you do have a gas line, you see that black pipe over there at the top uh, that runs the uh, length of this west wall. You also have compressed air uh, line which runs down the west wall and down the center of the building as well. One of the uh, main attributes of the, this facility is the electrical capacity. Uh, up front here you've got uh, three panels that are uh, 225 or 250 amps each, so you got a total of 700 amps up here, uh, plus uh, you're looking at 240 volts and it's three phase. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Okay, let's go take a look at the addition. Again, all this equipment will be out in, oh, about 40 days. This is a 8,000 square foot addition. It was built in 1998. Back in the corner here, we have uh, another electrical system. This is 800 amps, 480 volts, and it too is three phase. Oh. A number of uh, HVAC units back there. That one is inoperable, just FYI. Got a couple more here in the middle of the building. Up to here. And then we have a rooftop unit set over here with lasers and welders and uh, powder coating. There hasn't been a whole lot of need for extra heating capacity back here. The ceiling height here is a uh, clear span is 11.9 on the sides and 12.6 in the middle. Got a drive-in door that's 10.6 by uh, 12 and then the dock door is 7.10 by 12. Okay, the ticket on this uh, 23,308 square foot light industrial building in Noblesville, Indiana is $2,922,000. If you'd like additional information or like to take a tour, uh, just uh, hit me up in the uh, comments section below. Okay, if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about uh, Noblesville and Fishers, Indiana and doing business or living here, then follow me as we take a look at everything there is to know about these two communities and the surrounding area. We're talking top-ranked schools, healthcare systems, uh, parks and recreational opportunities, more shopping and other amenities than you can even count. We'll take a look at uh, what's going on music-wise, including Ruoff Music Center, which is year in and year out one of the top five venues in the entire world for ticket sales. And we'll take a look at uh, what uh, golf there is. Uh, Fishers is often ranked as one of the most underrated golf communities in the country. Hey, and we'll even stop in at Top Golf. It's always a good time. If you're uh, familiar with any of these sections or next chapters of this video, then just, hey, bop ahead to one that you haven't seen yet. And then we're gonna wrap up with a current housing market update so that uh, you or your professional staff or other employees can have much success with their next real estate venture. Okay, Noblesville has a great deal to offer everybody. No matter what your interest is, it's probably found here. 
Uh, first of all, let's just talk about overall location. You've got uh, Interstate 69 cutting down the very far eastern edge and then State Road 37 coming oh, east central, okay? And those are major thoroughfares uh, carrying a lot of traffic down into Indianapolis. They join together a little bit south of Noblesville and run down to the Beltway, which is I-465. And from there, you can go anywhere in the metro area you wanna go. Um, or you can stay on uh, State Road 37 and that will take you all the way downtown from the downtown Noblesville is probably about 45 minutes. Um, you have a number of east-west corridors that carry a lot of traffic. You got 146th Street on the southern edge of the town, and then you have State Roads 32 and 38, which cut through it. Uh, you also have State Road 19 that comes down into it from the north. So lots of um, highways that intersect. You'd think it'd be very busy, but it's really not. It has a small town feel, which I don't know, kind of perplexing or whatever, but at any rate, that's the way it is. From a job standpoint, along those major thoroughfares are a lot of manufacturing and distribution center jobs. You can go a little bit further south and you're into Roche Diagnostics, which is a Fortune 500 company. In Noblesville itself, you also have a lot of educational and healthcare opportunities as, where, as well as just basic office and retail uh, opportunities and some construction too. There's a number of uh, uh, paving and gravel uh, road construction type uh, outfits uh, that are pretty good sized in Noblesville as well. Let's talk about schools. The Noblesville school system is ranked in the top 10% in the state. You also have some private school uh, options. Garen Catholic High School is on the uh, far west edge in Noblesville and it is year in and year out it's ranked in the top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the nation. And then you can go south to Heritage Christian School which is right by the Beltway, and that has grades K through 12, and that's a A-rated school as well. And then there's a bunch of other private schools, some of them are affiliated with a church and others are not, but uh, lots of options for, for good schools. Okay, if you wanna talk medical and healthcare, right downtown is uh, Riverview Hospital. It's the oldest hospital in the state that has been county owned. Uh, which is kind of crazy to think that it still is. It's, it's over 100 years that it's been county owned. And then if you go out on 146, you've got uh, um, the Community Health Pavilion, and then you go down by Hamilton Town Center and you got IU Saxony Village and the Peyton Man and Children Hospital. Or you can go the other direction, you can go over to Carmel and you have every major hospital in the area. So uh, tons of medical opportunities uh, that way in terms of hospitals and around each hospital is a, a bunch of related uh, ancillary service buildings like uh, orthopedics and pediatrics and oh, physical therapy and occupational therapy and psychiatric and uh, ah, the list just goes on. There's, there's plenty of health care to satisfy almost whatever your need might be. There are a ton of things to do in the Noblesville area and we're going to do a little Noblesville, Indiana tour here in just a minute, but I'll mention that it has a very uh, well-developed parks and rec department that has uh, a lot of nature trails and then other parks scattered throughout the city. Um, a lot of entertainment for the kids, whether you're looking for climbing walls or cheer camps or whatever, it's probably around someplace close by. And then from a music perspective, uh, you've got, uh, you can go over to Connor Prairie. He has a slate of uh, 12 performances during the summer called uh, Symphony on the Prairie. That's really a good time. It seats over 8,000 people uh, lawn style. Or you can go out to Ruoff Music Center, which is the gem of all uh, music venues in the state of Indiana. Fishers has so much to offer. Hey, but let's just start with how convenient it is. You know, if you look at a map and you look at Fishers, I-69 just comes right down the center of it pretty much. And State Road 37, which is a very large state highway, also bisects it. And then coming across east and west, you've got 146th Street and 116th and down at 96, kind of carries traffic from east to west. If you're coming down uh, 69 or 37, that'll bring you, they'll join together and they'll take you to the Beltway, which is I-465 and that'll take you anywhere in the metro area you wanna go. Or if you stay on 69 or 37, it'll take you straight downtown in about 40 minutes, okay? Now, from a job standpoint, along all these major highways are lots of jobs. 
We're talking um, along 69 and 37, you've got a lot of manufacturing and distribution centers scattered all over the area. You have a lot of educational and healthcare jobs. And then uh, down towards the Beltway, you've got Roche Diagnostics, which is a Fortune 500 company. And then you've got retail just all over the place as well and offices and that type of thing. We'll talk about that a little bit later here in the tour. Okay, from a school standpoint, uh, Fishers has 27 schools in the Hamilton Southeastern School District. The entire school system is ranked eighth out of 290 in the state for public school systems, which puts it in like the top 3% statewide. That's pretty darn good. If you're looking at private school options, you, your Catholic high school is a little further away, maybe depending on where you're at in Fishers, anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes. That would be uh, uh, Cathedral and Guerin. Uh, they are both like rated A plus, top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the country. And then there's a whole lot of uh, old private uh, elementary schools that are maybe denominational or not. So you have a lot of choices when it comes to good schools. From a healthcare standpoint, you've got four or five hospitals just within 10 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on where in Fishers you're at. Uh, up on 146th Street, you have a, a community health pavilion, you have, you have the Peyton Manning uh, Children's Hospital, and you have the uh, IU Saxony Village Hospital. And then if you go the other direction, down uh, just around the Beltway, you have uh, a big community north hospital. Over there by the yard at, on 116th, you have a Riverview um, emergency room. Uh, set up so lots of options there from a hospital standpoint and around each of those hospitals are lots of ancillary medical facilities orthopedics physical therapy occupational therapy peds neuro every kind of specialty that you can think of so plenty of healthcare opportunities to satisfy whatever need you have okay Fisher's is just abundant with things to do uh, whether you're looking from adult stuff or children's activities. You can just drive around and there's climbing walls and cheer camps and uh, aquatic centers and just all kinds of stuff. And we're gonna take you through here in just a little bit, a uh, Fishers Indiana tour, if you will. We're gonna look at their uh, park system. There's like 25 parks. Uh, that includes the Geist Waterfront Park. And then there's Geist Reservoir, which is a tremendous uh, fun-filled uh, opportunity too. Uh, we'll look at some entertainment options. You've got the new event center, which will seat 8,500 people. We'll host the, the uh, uh, Indianapolis Fury, which is the Chicago Blackhawks uh, farm team. And then uh, it'll also have music and comedy and theater. Uh, we'll stick our head in at the Nickel Plate Amphitheater, which has over 6,000 people for summer uh, festival type music. And then up at Connor Prairie, they have uh, a slate of 12 performances by the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra called Symphony on the Prairie, which even if you're not a symphony fan are great and it's a great time. Uh, that seats like 8,500 lawn style. And then we can go out to Ruoff uh, Music Center, which is the gem of all Indiana um, music venues. In 2018, it sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. So we're gonna stick our head in the door there too and see what's going on. Fishers has been rated one of the most underrated golf cities in the uh, uh, country by one magazine or another a number of times over the years. We'll stop in at two uh, courses and also we'll stop in at Top Golf, which is always a great time even if you're not a golfer. Finally, we'll take a look at all the shopping and restaurant opportunities, whether we're talking about at Hamilton Town Center or the Yard. Uh, both of those are open air malls. They have a lot of good shopping opportunities and some really good restaurants. I'll let you in on uh, my top two or three picks at each so you can put them on your list. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. The numbers are in for April for the greater Indianapolis housing market. The median sales price has bounced back to its high of 300,000. Sales and new listings were both up, which, hey, considering the time of year, that's really not a whole lot of surprise, although they are better than a year ago this time. All that caused sales to be a tad lower. Last year, they were running on median about six days. Today, they're all the way up to eight days. Not sure that makes a whole lot of difference. Sales are going off at 1%, 
under list on average, and the active inventory has increased to 3,016 homes. And everyone appreciates whatever loosening there is in the market. Over in Hamilton County, there's a somewhat similar pattern. Although prices haven't reached back to their peak, uh, they are settling at about 441,000 on average. Both sales and listings were up substantially, like 13 and 16% respectively. And the median days on market is just six days, which means good houses are selling fast. The average home is going off at list price and inventory remains tight. Hey, so what can you do about tight inventory? What I say is, be like a Boy Scout, be prepared. Builders are offering rates as low as 4.99% on a 30-year fixed rate, and I've seen banks uh, offering closing cost grants of $5,000, which means they don't have to be repaid, and I've even seen some sellers of existing homes doing the same. And I know of a couple banks that are offering 100% financing with no mortgage insurance. Hey, and if you have a down payment, you still might want to consider going that route and then taking those funds and paying off whatever installment loans and car loans and trucks and boats and planes and all your credit cards and student loans or whatever you might have, it just might work. Hey, to learn how you can take advantage of any of these strategies, hit me up below, give me a quick call or text and make it a great day. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.